and welcome to AMB Bronze 22 part 3 um, I'm going to start off today I'm not going to video this because it will just bore you um, but I'm going to start off with a gold farm session and the way I'm going to do it I've only used I'm only going to use a 100% currency boost so but I'm just going to literally run story through to the end of world 4 um, the reason I want to do that is I'd like to get enough gold together so that we can then craft some experience farming rings which will follow um, this one except probably without vitality I'm thinking crit rating might be needed and um, we do need at least one crit rating and I'm potentially going with two because I'm not yet certain whether I'm going to take charge up to level 10 um, ideally we want 3000 crit rating for when we're doing our troll 105 experience farm um, at the moment at level 8 we get 1600 crit rating when we cast charge um, so I'd need 1,400 to come from somewhere else. We've got we'll get 400 of that from champion levels eventually. Um, there's a bit just for being level 70, and so I need to add a little bit from our gear, but not too much. Um, another reason I want to go through story is that running troll sort of 60 to 70 range isn't really giving us many books of learning or useful ones and I am desperate to get whirlwind and leap up to level 10 we've still got almost 11 hours just to get it to level 9 and then it's a another 72 hours to get it to level 10 so the more books of learning we can get from story mode the better um, so in order to progress with that, although we had uh, all the experience farming set ready, or well, well, most of the experience farming set ready at the end of the last episode, um, I've been through just crafting some regular rare gear, uh, ability rate extra gold on a regular helm, uh, I've put back on the level 62 necklace which had extra gold and experience, we've got the uh, shoulders ability rate extra gold uh, tunic ability rate extra gold I'm going to keep the integralist mantle as we had it so no extra gold on there um, but want it for this ability rate building I've created a new fire lily ability rate extra gold and experience uh, just a regular other trinket ability rate extra gold uh, lucky gloves, just regular gloves, ability rate extra gold, a regular bracer, ability rate extra gold. I'm keeping the whirling storm belt, don't want to change that. Uh, I'm keeping two pieces of fury, so the um, ones that we had from our experience farm, so this will ensure that we keep our uh, storm of swords damage when we do leaps and charges through story maps We've still got these experience farm extra gold from leveling 1 to 70 and I'm keeping the whirlwind set so again no extra gold in these um, but it's here for the bonus damage and extra things that go on down here um, so that will give us 1521 ability rate which is handy and with the booster 1357% extra gold so we should rapidly get over a million as we go through story I've reassigned champion points on the utility I've taken them out of experience and thrown them into extra gold for now um, so we we'll probably won't see too many champion levels gained as I go through story but what we'll do is meet back up once I've run through story and we'll see where we are and welcome back um, the end of running story through to the end of 
well, all the way through to the end of World 4 and Kara. Um, I did have oh, just over 3 million gold just running with a 100% currency booster. I ended up using two of them uh, to get through, uh, so an hour went by. Um, I had enough books to get Whirlwind to 9. Another day has passed, it's now Wednesday. Um, Whirlwind is still at 9, we desperately need this at 10 before we do any serious experience farming. Um, but I've used some of the gold to finish off most of the uh, set that we'll initially start out with for experience farming. So things that have been added, uh, I've got a Talisman of Storms which came out at 75 epic crit damage physical damage experience um, that will give us a nice boost to crit damage um, a legendary Vile of the Wind Spirit now at level 72 rather than that level 2 or 3 thing that we had crit damage physical damage experience and ability rate um, on the gloves since it's a very cheap enchantment I'm adding 100 armor and the other thing is I've crafted two cheap and cheerful rings um, so this is crit rating crit damage experience and ability rate now if you've watched one of the earlier episodes I think it was part two when I made the necklace we've got nine crit damage rings nine experience five crit rating and four ability rate have gone into that um, and exactly the same went into this ring which is a bit worse just due to the way that I make them I didn't want to sit and try and get as good a stats as I did for that first one um, and the reason I've gone with some crit rating on the two rings is that that will give us where are we down here at the moment 600 crit rating um, and we've got still from champion levels 100 points will give us 400 crit rating that will give us 1000 crit rating overall here and if I get charge up to level 10 level 10 gives us 2000 crit rating and so overall 2000 plus to 1000 from the set will give us an overall crit chance of 50% so we've got all the crit rating that we need in the build obviously we're going for crits after casting charge which is the way that the build works um, I'm going to do without any experience boosters or anything because I think it's wasting them at this stage I'm going to do a few runs of Morganheim it's just that when I ran through on story I ended up getting a 300, uh, three hour book and then I've just come back to see how things are going with this map and I got another three hour book so there's lots of elites on here um, I really didn't want to do it in this order <laughs> It's a complete mess. We'll go back and take care of other things as we go through here. We'll open up some chests, but I'm after killing the elites, to be honest. Since it's elites that drop books of learning, let's spawn those. Um, and we'll get some... A few bonus bits from the chests I know it's a waste of time the way that we're running that but uh, if it gets us a nice amount of books that's gone down at last and can we leap over here because I don't recall opening here and we'll spawn our exit point uh, we've got a one hour book so it's working out better than running trials certainly in the 60 to 70 range and um, that gets us down to 15 hours so I am going to 
probably get rid of those annoying companions because they pull in other enemies. Let's see how this run goes, whether we can actually do things without pulling in millions of extra enemies. Do things in a slightly better order. Oh no, that's just pathing. <laughs> taking me up there I was trying to click on that chest <laughs> we'll leap up here now and we'll do a little run through here little tornadoes taking care of everything and we can leap up there Flat our way through to the end and get this last chest. And we got a 10 minute book off those there as well. And we can get out. Uh, yeah, another one hour. That's nice. And 40 minutes there. So, what I will do, we're still picking up experience because we're in the full experience set exception of bracer which is yet to be properly crafted um, so I am just going to run that and hopefully it's not going to take too long now to get rid of these final hours and we can then hopefully start popping some 200% experience boosters and hitting trolls and hopefully moving our way up towards 105 which is where we want to be farming so uh, we'll meet up again shortly and welcome back so we are two hours seven and a half minutes in whirlwind is at 10 um, net spend on gems so far is only 500 so we started off with 12,900 we did spend a few unlocking this slot I spent 400 on one of the shop uh, store things with the two 200% currency boosters two 200% experience boosters um, and then we just got the rest of the character unlocks that have gone through there um, and then I farmed back a load of gems obviously from running story on this character and doing some five starring of maps on the main account so it hasn't cost us much to get to this stage we've got loads of time on the clock and I think it's going to be about three and a half to four hours of uh, proper experience farming for us to um, get a decent amount of champion levels behind us we are a little light on toughness so at some stage some of these items will become i'll craft legendary versions and add some vitality to them and potentially some extra gold onto a few other pieces um, we do need to craft a bracer of mastery as well at some stage at the moment i'm not going to worry um, but we are going to need that um, in terms of legendary crafts, we've done a 76 and a 72, so I expect the next one will be a 73, and then the next two crafts after that will probably be a 72 and a 74, but which order they will be, I'm not sure. So, <clears throat> potentially we're looking at crafting maybe some shoulders or a helm, and then two attempts to craft something better than our cleaver um, get a legendary version there and then I will focus on having materials ready for this bracer of mastery um, in terms of materials I've got 20 marker titans now we haven't had to spend any gems to get those uh, they have come from running story um, world 3 story gives you a rare set of armor 
um, which has a chance of giving you marker titans and then story on world 4 has the vestments of the fallen king armor which is epic and there are two legendary swords as well that come out of that so uh, when I salvaged all of those I ended up with 20 marker titans so we are good to craft uh, set gear once we've got a few more materials behind us um, whirlwind is up to 10 I guess we'll get tough as nails and fleet footed going get some quick ones on the go um, at the moment we've got 42% crit chance when I cast charge it's uh, crit rating divided by crit rating plus 3000 so we've got 1600 plus uh, 600 from here so 2200 divided by 5200 I believe that's about 42% um, once we've got some more champion levels behind us and the 400 crit rating from here that will push us up to 46% and then obviously getting charged to level 10 will give us the magical 50% um, so what do we want to do? We're going to pop a couple of greater experience boosters and two currency boosters. Um, so although I'm not running any extra gold gear, um, we're going to get bonus gemstones from the trials. So from that currency booster and it's going to boost the gold that we get at the end as well. Um, at the moment, crit damage will go up a bit. We've still got the Bracer of Mastery, which will have crit damage on it. The physical damage will go up a bit as well. Um, I definitely want more vitality and more life as a result of that. Armor's at 92.8. Uh, ability rate, it's over 1500. It could be higher, but uh, we'll be okay with that where it is. Uh, experience gain 3351% so that's a nice amount um, if you've crafted and ended up magically with identical stats so that you're probably still away below that and that's because I do like collecting medal of knowledge for the experience bonus so that's adding a couple of hundred to our experience total uh, probably doesn't work out so much overall experience, but uh, it makes me feel happier. Uh, do we want to go with Garm just yet? Uh, let's have a laugh and see how I, I go with Garm. Um, but with <clears throat> well, we're now at 10. We don't have to kill a group and move on to the next one. We can just hit our whirlwind and drag everything with us. We'll uh, kill that group. Oh, come here, you're an elite. Be nice to have it dealt with. Um, I'm not going in a particularly intelligent route around this map. At the moment, I think it's just a case of let's get it dealt with. <laughs> um, we'll leap onto them as well. And, uh, fair few down here but not too bothered because we can leap back out of there cool. and one last one of them yes so rather than being two and a half minutes which our first attempt at 70 was we were under a minute for that one and we're going to start seeing lots of champion levels rolling in so let's start allocating some crit rating we've filled up our armor so we've just got life regen we've filled up ability rate movement speed is going to help us at this stage 
um, and I can start saving books of learning which 10 minute ones are going to come in very handy for our push character when we delete this one and go and craft probably a mage simply because I think that's going to be the easiest for me to get into a top 50 and grab another medal of knowledge because I'm greedy like that <laughs> um, shall we pay a bit more attention to what we're doing this time oh. I'm not entirely sure why I've taken this route <laughs> Hopefully we can carry them with us over here. So we are still quite low on champion levels so we might need to stick around here a bit until we've got a bit more power in the build, a bit more crit rating and crit damage, but not too far off. Oh, pay attention. Uh, talisman of Storms, so... I'm going to stick, where was that, 80, I think. Oh, Troll 90. Blimey. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to stick at 90 for a little while because we are low level still. But uh, yeah, um, already got a Celestial Transform, <laughs> which I wasn't expecting. I thought we were running Trial 80 just then. I don't know why. We'll dump this over here. Uh, we'll just get those spread out. Stick them in there. So let's take another look at 90. <coughs> Don't want to go too high too fast because then we will be slowing ourselves down. Which isn't ideal. Did I allocate champion levels? I can't remember. <laughs> the sort of silly thing that I haven't done yet. Talisman of Storms that made it a nice big hit. Um, no, I didn't, did I? Because that's a lot of champion levels sitting around. Um, that's handy, it's pushing our crit rating up. Our life regen is coming along nicely. Our movement speed. Hello. Mm, shame it's the wrong set. It's nice to see some set items dropping because they're all going to give us marker titans which are good. Um, should we run one last troll 90 and then I might switch off until we're ready to go a bit higher. Quite a big group for our squishiness. Yeah. 
No great surprise that that happened. Let's do that and slim it down a bit. Must remember we don't have a million toughness. Even then, that's not going to make us invincible, but it will make us a bit tankier. That's enough to draw out Kara. So I'm going to stick around at Troll 90 as we start gaining lots of champion levels um, and we'll meet back up when I feel we're ready to move a bit higher. So see you again soon. And welcome back. So since you were last with me, um, how far have we gone? 27 minutes up to champion level 1010 um, I have replaced these five five pieces um, that were in the build so um, from the ephemeral cube we had the fury pads with crit damage experience ability rates um, I've crafted a legendary set which still has crit damage ability rate experience I added in vitality because I thought we were looking too squishy for 105 um, again crit damage experience ability rate which was on the ephemeral cube fury tunic keeping those three and vitality added in there um, together they pushed our toughness up to 1.25 million um, I run with 1 million and 40,000 on my main account if I'm farming 105 with a warrior so I've um, got more toughness than I would normally see so that's good that makes me think we'll be fine for running 105 um, Bracer of Mastery or the original Bracer was just hasten experience we now have a cleave damage not particularly brilliant percentage um, but crit damage physical damage experience um, the pants were crit damage experience movement speed we still have those three stats and then extra gold added in um, so because we're running the trolls with currency booster then having some extra gold in here will keep pushing our gold up higher and higher which means we won't need to do a gold farm when it comes to crafting the set of gear for the push character and finally a cleaver that I crafted earlier crit damage ability rate experience I thought a 74 was due did indeed get that so again it has those original three stats and then extra gold added in as well um, at this stage I'm not th not planning in doing any more crafting on this character if I do it will be pants uh, or helm um, they'll retain those same stats but then with an extra gold added in just to help push along our gold as we go through trials um, because we've gone past champion level 750 our crit rating and crit damage are all filled everything's going to power from here on in um, so power will just keep rising so our damage will keep going up haste is a little low but I th four 4.25 hits per second is what we're getting at the moment um, I'm happy with how it's performing so I'm not going to worry about trying to push out any higher our crit rating of a thousand um, and with 1600 coming from charge gives us 46 percent crit chance crit damage 1681 uh, I could push that a little higher if I craft a um, enchantment for the shoulders with crit damage on it but I don't think we're going to need that at this stage so I'm, I'm not crafting that at the moment 
Physical damage 67.9. I could push that a bit higher if I craft an enchantment for the helm. Um, but at the moment I'll just leave it and see how we go. Vitality and total life are in a, a better position than our armour. So as we've seen from our toughness stat that's uh, hopefully going to be enough for running 105. Uh, life on hit is a thousand from champion levels and 316 from uh, medals. Uh, ability rate 1907. A little bit low, it could be a bit higher than that, but it seems to be fine for what we're doing, so I'm happy with that. Extra gold, considering we've got a currency booster running, we're up at 883%. If I can get that up to a thousand with crafting another piece with extra gold on it, then fine. But I'm not overly bothered with that. And our experience at three, four, five, two um, abilities. Since I was worried about toughness earlier, tough as nows and fleet footed are on their way to eight. Um, I'm not proposing in using any books of learning at the moment to increase anything so I'm keeping charge where it is as well once they're done I'm going to take these auto attack skills up a bit higher um, <clears throat> in terms of trials I've stuck at 90 we've not gone any higher I've uh, been consistently under a minute I'm just trying to think what the fastest run was 40 seconds so um, yeah, it's been a, a healthy place to farm which has enabled us to gain 500 odd champion levels nice and quick so let's just to wrap up this video take a first look at troll 105 which is hopefully where we're going to finish up spending the bulk of our experience farming time um, for now I'm not going to pull too many troops until I know just how much toughness we have. Um, we'll work our way through, it's probably not going to be the fastest run you ever see. expecting us to die but we've survived somehow <laughs> did pull in rather a few too many elites there <laughs> so must have missed out loads of enemies somewhere so that's slowing us down on the run that's enough to draw out Kara It's a bit ponderous, isn't it, this? <laughs> It'd be nice to see our talisman of storms coming up. Wow, super slow. This isn't farmable at the moment. There's our talisman of storms. Yeah, I'm not going to farm 105 then. We'll need a bit more power behind us before we can run that efficiently um, so I will stick around at 90 for the rest of this booster probably and then we'll see where we are but I think in terms of this video that's probably going to be enough to <coughs> wrap up we've got another two hours worth of experience boosters there um, those are the items that just dropped, those I can sell and we got a, a load of these to spread so we should do that, stick them in the stash um, and we can call this one a day so how many champion levels did we get for that 24 so it's about nine more than um troll 90 
but nearly double the time which makes that an inefficient way of farming if I can get through in about 50 seconds average and get 15, 14, 15 champion levels that's much better than getting 24 in 1 minute 40, 1 minute 38 so um, any questions or comments feel free to put them down below and as always thank you very much for watching